Welcome to Hometown Happenings. I'm Carol McCarthy here with Kelly Blackledge, ranger at the Tamarack Wildlife Refuge here in Detroit Lakes. And today we are going to talk about nature defective disorder. <laughs> <laughs> or and or nature deficit Na disorder. Nature, yeah, nature deficit you could disorder. Call it. Okay. Yeah. NDD yeah. <laughs> at any rate. And uh, Kelly, you work, you do some work with natural innovations. And uh, let's talk a little bit about maybe natural innovations first, and then we'll get into what you've been doing out here at Tamarack. Sure. Well, natural innovations is really dedicated to um, providing opportunities for more um, access to environmental education in the community, whether it be um, environmental issues around the community and just general environmental education um, what, for students, adults, um, all age groups. Okay, so this nature deficit disorder yeah. among our young. <laughs> Yeah, well, among, among the young and old, but you know, you kind of were going to get to the young. Well, think about all the nature things you did as a kid. That's right. That's there were right. a lot. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of times. Or even walking to school. Mm -hmm. Not very many kids even walk to school or have a nature experience uh, walking to school because they're on a bus or, you know, it's just there's um, definitely been a shift um, since our childhoods <laughs> in terms of how much time we get to spend in nature. Um, parents are very active in providing some great opportunities for kids these days. There are a lot of opportunities, whether it be sports and um, special uh, programs, but it's very structured. There's something going on all the time, and there's very little time for free time outside outdoors. All right. So when you walked to school, was it 10 miles uphill? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Both ways. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I did. We floated sticks, you know, right. down the street when it rained and we, you know, picked up worms and, um, you know, got pretty close with shrubs and all kinds <laughs> of plants. And, you know, there was definitely some experiences just, just walking to school. But um, even in our backyards, you don't have to go to a a national park, you don't have to go to Yellowstone, you don't even have to come all the way out to Tamarack <laughs> to find a, a nature experience because there there are certainly plenty of nature experiences in your own backyard, but for having that free time to, to do that. Unstructured play has um, shown to develop better cognitive functions, social behaviors, health issues, all those things are very important to our children today and and we're finding that um, you know, our society f uh, is really focusing on technology and electronics, and that's an important part of our future, uh, but we're, it's a little out of balance right now. We're not balancing that with some time in nature or natural things, looking at natural shapes, feeling, smelling, using all our senses in the outdoors. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we have some footage from um, some of the days you hosted here at the Tamarack National Wildlife Refuge. You had some uh, elementary or elementary school kids coming in, maybe some yeah. middle school kids about that age yep. coming in and you were showing some them how to use a GPS unit, which is technology into the <laughs> wilderness. That's right, that's right. All right. <laughs> One of the things that we were able to do is um, we're interested in using their interest in technology and connecting that to nature experiences, getting them interested in nature through their interest in technology. So yeah, by utilizing the GPS units, we're able to connect with some kids that might not otherwise um, connect with nature, but certainly do with technology. Okay, and we're gonna watch a little bit of video from that day that I came Great. out and you, know, you were teaching Great. the kids how to use a GPS unit and they were trying <laughs> to find trees and, and then you had a thing from the CCC ca camp uh, they're, they're trying to find too. So we'll watch a little bit of that. You're watching Hometown Happenings here on TV3.
Would you rather have school outside or inside? Outside. 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 Definitely Why? outside. Because then we go. Don't wildlife. There's, there's more wildlife to the I just don't like the part about the ticks, though. Yeah. But if it was on our playground, I'd be happy. <laughs> because then we can get some fresh air. What did you just get done doing? We did a scavenger hunt and this, we wrote down a whole bunch of things and other stuff. Right. So I asked the other class, uh, which is better, which do you, do you like to be inside or outside and why? Outside. Outside, outside probably because you can run dry the naked. And look at all the Stuff, look at the cats. You can do more things. Catch insects. Oh, okay. Did you guys check for ticks? Yeah. yeah. We found I caught three. Yeah, we got yeah, a few people on them. Have you seen any wildlife yet? No. Well, um, we saw a pelican on the bus. Insects oh. and bugs. Yeah. <laughs> we let found us. a red spider. Ooh. Did you let it go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun. All right, so that was one of the things that you're doing, the GPS unit, but you also had a, a volunteer on hand talking about, you know, the kids each got a backpack and they were, you know, you know, things that they saw and, you know, she just had them write a few things down in a notebook. Yeah, the, the backpacks are such a neat um, project. They are, um, via a grant, we were able to get backpacks so that every kid could have one. And it's so important that they have an opportunity to, um, inquire about nature on their own. They're doing their own discoveries. They're sent out to find temperatures in the shade and temperatures in the sunshine and gather information about weather and changes in nature. So um, yeah, they're, they're doing some um, inquiry about science that way. And it, they were a little bit more observant about the environment around them too. I noticed yeah. all the kids were getting into it and you know, they even saw, you know, a few wood ticks and oh <laughs> yes, that was, like, that was the big wildlife <laughs> sighting that day. And I was picking them out all the, the way back to DL too. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a good point. Cause sometimes it's a fear too, of if you go out in the woods, you're going to get a wood tick or something. Like that. And you know, it's just, nature <laughs> and uh, we just can't you know let that fear keep us away from the wonderful outdoors because it is very important to um, the development of children and us as adults too. Mm -hmm. Now where were some of these students from that you uh, brought in to Tamarack? There were several third grade classes from Detroit Lakes. We had some third graders from Ogama this year. We had um, some middle school students from Detroit Lakes. We've uh, had kindergarten from Detroit Lakes and um, some first graders from Frazee. We've had students from all over the place. So okay, um, it's, it's so neat that the teachers are willing to bring them out and um, have an experience with nature. And there's, and we do, when we do that, we have um, all of these activities also um, are directly related or uh, address science standards as well. So it's not just a fun day outdoors, um, but we are working on science standards addressing um, those outdoors. Just right. an outdoor classroom. All right. Well, you don't have to be a kid to get outdoors and That's enjoy right. it, but uh, <laughs> you know, it helps uh, getting those young people out in outdoors in their own environment. Well, Kelly, thank you so much for uh, entertaining us today here in the outdoors. <laughs> well, I challenge you to share some nature with a child in your life. It is so important. All right, Kelly Blackledge from Tamarack National Wildlife Refuge, along with me, Carol McCarthy, here on Hometown Happenings on TV3. Thanks.